What is up everybody, welcome back to another weather forecast and this is actually another big upload on Hurricane Delta. It is now officially a major hurricane again. The new advisory just came out not too long ago and it supports 115 miles an hour at 959 millibars. So could it actually not be a bigger threat for Louisiana because National Hurricane Center was in category 2. Um, so could this now be becoming a major hurricane a lot sooner mean that could it get a lot worse for Louisiana? Some pretty big and possibly even uh, unsurvivable storms for some, some areas 7 to 11 feet here. Forecast to see 100 plus mile an hour wind gusts here, gusts up to 120 miles an hour for these same areas that got hit by Laura Sally. This, this is heading for Cameron, Lake Charles, those general areas that got hit by Laura here. We got hurricane warnings, storm surge watches, trucks from warnings. We're going to be talking a lot about what can we can see rainfall, wind, uh, wind. Uh, uh, basically flooding, storm surge, who can get the worst timing. We're going to be looking at all that in this rather long update here on Hurricane Delta. But before we get any further in the video, please subscribe if you're new, hit the like button and post notification icon. But without further ado, let's get in this video. So here's looking at the National Hurricane Center, the new 5 o'clock update, which just happened around 3 or 4 minutes ago here. And as you see, there is Delta, Hurricane Delta, at now 115 miles an hour. It was just 105 miles an hour before the update. So it has jumped 10 miles an hour, and they should be getting now, instead of the 115 mile an hour peak, to 125 mile an hour peak here, and possibly showing a borderline category three, category two landfall. So this could very well be a strong category two landfall or a very weak category three landfall for Louisiana there, but 959 millibars. And it's now moving northwest at 12 miles an hour. So it's moving at a pretty fast pace. Uh, not a fast pace, but a decent pace here. And then expect to kind of do that northern turn very soon here and hit areas like Morgan City. Uh, not, sorry, not Morgan City. Uh, hit areas like Cameron and then areas like Lake Charles into further inland Louisiana up into the Mississippi River. So for the first time in this hurricane's life, the eye finally pops out here. As you see, we finally have a very small eye that is finally popping out here. Uh, we actually did have an eye right here and it actually hit Yucatan, but it wasn't visible. So finally a visible eye here on satellite imagery here. As you see, very, it's very small. Uh, I mean, it's kind of still somewhat struggling to pop up here, but it is making its way to the point where it's getting very visible. I mean, look at all the cloud cover as far inland as Mississippi and Arkansas. From, the, from this hurricane here, as you see very strong inflow and outflow. I mean, this outflow is pretty impressive here. You can kind of see that inflow getting in right there. That is fueling that storm right there. We have that center convection there, that very visible eye wall, that most amount of convection. We kind of see that eye trying to really pop out here. Let's actually go a bit further in. Uh, Bit, bit further in uh kind of zoomed in more so let's actually see that eye you see it's really trying to pop up i mean it's still kind of struggling to become super duper visible but for once we can actually kind of see where we do have an eye but there you see that counterclockwise spin right there on the quadrants kind of see that that really nice inflow and outflow and then you kind of see it just continuously just wrap around a nice cycle here but I mean, look at this right here. Very nice cyclonic spin. Uh, as you see, there is that most amount of convection right there. As you can kind of really see, there it is. The most amount of convection in the eye wall. Very, very organized. It seems like the most organized part in this case is the western part of the storm here. And then very soon, it's going to kind of start going uh, due north and then go straight for the areas that got hit by Laura. So here's the new 5 o'clock update Conan timing for uh, for Delta. As you see, that wind field has gone a lot larger because it's it's starting to strengthen at a more reasonable pace. The reason why Delta has such a small wind field at a, at a very strong Category 4 is because it, it strengthened too fast that it could handle. So now that it's actually starting to strengthen at a more reasonable pace, it's starting to mature it actually has time to mature and it's not just getting way too strong too fast but as you see there it is uh heading for now the louisiana coast we do have major uh we sorry we have hurricane warnings all the way from the uh beaumont area or port arthur 
all the way up to the Morgan City region. As you see, this is including the areas that got hit by Laura. Tropical storm warnings maintained for the Galveston area, uh, Texas City, New or as far as New Orleans, a Grand Isle. And guys, we have tropical storm watches as far as the Mississippi coast. I mean, this is showing how far these impacts will be felt. As you expected to get to that 125 mile an hour peak right here, 125 mile an hour peak right here. This year will be by 1 p.m. tomorrow and expected to possibly make a landfall in the overnight hours, maybe almost at the exact same time as Laura. Uh, well, actually not exact same time because Laura made landfall at 2 a.m. There it is at 1 a.m. So most likely make a landfall right in the evening, 7 or 8 p.m. So right before it gets dark. So the worst conditions could be when it actually is getting dark. That sun is setting. Even though you won't see that sun, it'll be setting at that time. going to be inland hurricane category 1 for Alexandria and even uh, right there near the Monroe area. Still a tropical storm over the Mississippi River. That's going to cause some really big inland flooding. And then post tropical depression by uh, this uh, this weekend uh, over the uh, Tennessee area and most likely where the natural um, area is. As you do see, hurricane warnings right here in the purple. There it is, Morgan City, including areas as far inland as the Monroe, sorry, not Monroe area. Um, Wow, wow, guys, I actually messed up. I forgot. Monroe's up here. Uh, I did not mean to say that. I meant Alexandria region. So I forgot Monroe's all the way up there. I thought Monroe was in the central Louisiana uh, area for a second. I do apologize. So if you're in Monroe, you aren't getting hurricane winds uh, category 1. You may get maybe hurricane gusts, max gusts, but not sustains. But there's Lake Charles, Morgan City. I believe Alexandria's right right on the border. I'm not exactly 100% where Alexandria is. I think it's like right in that big county in the center. Houston, just outside the tropical storm warnings, just like, a just like what happened with Laura Freeport, uh, basically outside the tropical storm warnings. I mean, this kind of reminds me exactly of Laura because, I mean, the tropical storm warnings, the hurricane warnings, they're almost exactly where they were for Laura. I wish I could compare it right now. Look at this, Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Grand Isle, as far as Monroe, up into southeastern Mississippi. And then we have tropical storm watches as far as the Mississippi coast in far eastern area, uh, not Arizona, Louisiana, almost at Arizona for some reason. All right, timing is most likely arrival. Tropical storm winds will be right on the coast around the Friday morning hours. So it can start getting tropical storm wind gusts as early as tomorrow morning. And then by Friday evening, which is when it makes landfall, we'll have uh, over a 50% chance, a 90% chance for tropical storm winds to be felt very far inland of the Mississippi River. Storm surge. All right, let's see what the storm surge has. Storm surge is obviously not, does not look like what happened with Laura. Obviously, kind of the Laura was right here, that storm surge. But the worst of the storm surge will be... To the far to the far east of the landfall, this is expected to make landfall around the Cameron area, sadly. But look where that seven seven to eleven foot storm surge will be far to the east, because that upper northeastern quadrant is going to bring in the harsh winds straight on the shore, which is going to bring in those really big waves, pick up the water. So seven to eleven foot storm surge, the worst storm surge could be near Morgan City. Surprisingly, even though it's supposed to make landfall in that four to seven foot range for storm surge, but gonna kind of go like this. That's kind of what we're expecting there. Up to two to foot, two to four foot storm surge for New Orleans, even Biloxi, two to foot, two to foot, four foot storm surge, one to three foot storm surge as far as the far western panhandle in Alabama Keys. Um. Gonna be seeing one to three foot storm surge all the way to Port Connor O'Connor. So look at where all these uh, these impacts would be from Port O'Connor, Texas, all the way up into the Pensacola and Mobile area. Let's go and check out now what the models have. So this is actually what the H Mon uh, H Min model has a hurricane model. They have the next twenty. They have the next twelve hours. This being at nine hundred and fifty one millibars. This is actually at nine hundred fifty nine. So it's pretty reasonable. 
Then they get it as low as 947 millibars, 946. 946, I mean, that is category three, most definitely. And then it weakens because of those cooler waters there, 957. Louisiana is getting really lucky, especially with those cooler waters. 964 millibar landfall. But look, look where Morgan City is. Morgan City is like right here, I believe. And the worst storm is going to be right here. And look where it's making landfall based in the H Mon. H Mon has it kind of a little bit more east as well. Making landfall, maybe 960 millibar storm. And then it goes far inland up the Mississippi River up into the Tennessee Valley. Let's check out the H4 model as well. Another hurricane model they have the next three hours, 965, which is actually weaker than it actually is now. And they get it up to around a 965 millibar landfall, kind of closer to Cameron. And then they also get it up going up the Mississippi River. So here, look now at another model, model as you do see here. This is actually the next 24 hours. We're seeing already starting to see up to around 34 uh 34 knots uh starting to see already 34 knots in the next 24 hours like i did like i did see gonna start releasing those uh impacts there so that's, that's not 12 that's not 24 hours i apologize that is uh that is the next 18 uh 18 to 15 hours not 24. as we get later into the evening this is when things start to really diminish here over the day the time period tomorrow there's the eye I mean, look at that winds, right? That's going to really bring in that onshore breeze. That's going to bring a big storm surge uh, for these areas right here near Morgan City and to the east. I see you're going to be seeing up to around already 76 uh, knots, which is around 80, uh, 80, uh, 87 miles an hour. And then it's going to even bring right in the eye wall up to 100 plus knots. So that is definitely reaching that major hurricane status. I do see low pressure is going to be at 973 millibars right here. And they show kind of the worst of the wind. It's going to be where that Morgan City region, or not not, not where Morgan City is, but based on this, it has the worst winds kind of way to the east of that low pressure. Look at that, where that eye is. This is where the worst winds will be based on this in this general region. That's where the low pressure is going to make landfall. So kind of pretty further, farther to the east, which is going to bring that onshore breeze, that that north that uh, counterclockwise spin and bring that big storm surge uh, felt impacts for the Morgan City area to the east of that low pressure as you see though I'm gonna continue to see this category one 983.7 millibar storm there moving near Alexandria further up near Lake Charles I'm gonna continue to bring in hurricane uh, hurricane winds and then it starts obviously to weaken to a high-end tropical storm by the time it gets to the Mississippi River I run right there at a thousand millibars and then gradually become a post tropical depression it should clear out by the by the weekend so last but not least check out the GFS they get it to the next uh, 18 hours 966 which is already a, uh, it's already at 959 so that's kind of really already uh, wrong so it can't really rely on the GFS much because they kind of already have it wrong the whole time Check out the CMC. I mean, CMC is also having it wrong the whole time. They have it at 988 millibars right now. See if the icon's any better. Icon is a bit better here, somewhat. Uh, but they show at 987 millibars uh, landfall. So the models, that I don't even know what they are at ex exactly showing. Check out the NAM. And the NAM guesses up to 944, 945. And then gradually weakening at that point on there. Uh, but I see, I mean... Really, I'm not using the, the NAM for winds. I'm using the NAM to look at that rain. The rain is going to be the big primary threat here. I mean, look at that rain. Big time flooding there. Primary threat including as well storm surge and flash flooding will be the primary threats here. But look at that far inland rain up the Mississippi River. And let's check out the total accumulated precipitation. Maybe seeing a ton of rain here. As you see, I mean, look at this. Up to 9 10 inches far inland up there near Monroe. And then we kind of have up to around one to two feet of rain here. So definitely a big storm to watch out for. But I will see you guys tomorrow.